Hey guys, welcome to Treadmill Review Guru. I'm Sydney, and today we're checking out the Proform Carbon T14. This is at the top of the Carbon series, which is Proform's mid-range lineup of treadmills. This treadmill comes with a lot of features that we find on higher end models, and it's enabled with iFit to offer plenty of training options. In this review, I'm going to go over everything that you need to know and let you know how it performed for us. All right, let's jump in and check out the construction on the T14. Its footprint, as it's laid out like this, is 73.5 inches long, 35.2 inches wide, and 57.5 inches high. So it's fairly compact. It does fold up to save you a lot of space, and it has a hydraulic assist. So you get assistance when you are lifting up that deck, and then also when you unlock it, it will lower down for you. Something with the other two treadmills, the T7 and the T10 in the carbon lineup, is that they have a manual folding up option, so you have to lift and lower that deck yourself, and you have to be able to lower that deck, otherwise it will come slamming down. So we really appreciate the hydraulic assist. It just really gives you a lot of extra assistance when lifting it up, and you don't have to worry about that deck coming and accidentally slamming down on you or slamming down on your floor. Also, when it's folded up, you can tilt it back and engage the transportation wheels to be able to move it around fairly easily. So this is a good option if you want a storable treadmill. It has a 300 pound weight capacity, which is pretty consistent with other treadmills from Proform so it'll handle users up to that weight limit. And it has a steel frame, steel uprights that connect up into the console. It also has this steel crossbar that's mounted just underneath the console in between the stabilizers, and it's all steel. And this really is a design that we like to see, especially on like entry level and mid-range treadmills. It just helps keep the screen and the console a little bit more steady when you're using it, and it just helps to provide a little bit more stability to the treadmill, so we definitely like seeing this option. We would like to see, maybe make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, is a storage tray over top. Just be a little bit more functional so you can place something. Soul's treadmills have storage trays underneath, so might be something maybe for a future upgrade, just a little plastic storage tray to slip over top of this just to make it a little bit nicer to look at and a little bit more functional. The handles are coated in a textured plastic, so they don't feel slippery. They actually have a good amount of texture, so your hands shouldn't be slippery at all. And you have this horizontal bar in the front to be able to grip, so the handles are definitely pretty sufficient, especially if you need a little bit more balance assistance. The motor is a 2.75 continuous horsepower motor, and we recommend it for walking, jogging, hiking, and some running. It isn't really best for heavier use, so if you're looking for a treadmill that you can train for a marathon on, we recommend checking out the Proform Pro 9000. That one has a larger motor that can handle running a little bit better than this one. But the motor overall, it is fairly quiet. You have a 10 mile per hour max speed, so it will go up to that pace. So it's a good amount of pace for most users. That's going to be a run or a sprint, so definitely plenty of training options with that. Also, it can incline up to 12%, so you have a lot of options, especially if you like to do a lot of hiking classes, especially if you want to train with iFit, you have a lot of range there. So with the deck, it is 55 inches long and 20 inches wide, and this deck is going to be a little bit more limiting to users with longer running strides, if you're taller as well. Just for running, you might be a little bit more limited to jogging, so that's just something to keep in mind. 60 inches is really the optimal length that we see on treadmills for all users to be able to do everything from walking all the way up to running and sprinting. 
So something to keep in mind, I know I'm just about five foot one and I can run on this and our tallest reviewer is six five and we'll show him running on this later. But if you do have a longer stride and you like a little bit more room to run on, just be aware that this length might be a little bit more limiting to you. But for jogging for most, this is definitely going to be optimal. With the cushioning, we're actually really pleased with the cushioning. It feels pretty soft underfoot, softer than other mid-range models that we've compared it to, like treadmills from Sol tend to be a little bit firmer underfoot. So this cushioning definitely provides that nice shock absorption that we like to see. And the step up height, so the height from the top of the side rail to the ground is eight inches. So it has a fairly low profile. So that's just something to keep in mind for factoring and ceiling height. This one should work a little bit better if you have a little bit lower ceilings because it does have a lower profile. And Proform covers the T14 with a 10 year warranty for the frame and a one year warranty for parts and labor. All right, so checking out the console on the T14, it has a 14 inch touchscreen. This size touchscreen is pretty adequate to be able to see all of the iFit content when you subscribe. You can also see all of your workout metrics clearly and be able to navigate the app and be able to use the treadmill easily. It's obviously not the largest screen. If you want a larger screen, then I would check out the Pro 9000, which has a 22 inch touchscreen. I do love this layout of the console, however. I think it's one of my favorites from Proform. These quick touch buttons are some of our favorites in general, but with them laid out like this on either side of the screen vertically, this side is your speed and the other side is your incline. It just, it makes sense. It's intuitive. I can go and press like seven and it will increase to seven miles per hour. I can also go over to the other side and press 10 and that deck will incline to 10%. So it's just really easy and these are really great for like interval training when you wanna adjust the treadmill really quickly. You also have your buttons down here to be able to adjust to more specific increments. Like the speed increases and decreases by 0.1 and the incline will increase and decrease by 0.5%. But overall, I find I use the quick touch buttons if they're on a treadmill all the time. So this one is just makes it really easy to use. The fans over here, there's a fan on this side and on the other side, they are fairly powerful, but they do make a good amount of noise. Let me let you listen. That's the lowest setting. And that's the highest setting. So the air output is actually pretty nice. They do make that extra noise. We can still hear everything. The speakers are really clear so we can hear uh, all of the iFit classes just fine, but just be aware that they do make a little bit more noise. Also with them positioned so wide on the console, the airflow is kind of a little bit more to the side where I wish they'd be a little bit more uh, centered, but they work just fine to be able to cool you off. And for storage, you have these pockets on either side for your water bottle. You can put your phone, keys, kind of whatever items you need nearby. And what is nice about the T14 is that it does have a little device rack here. So you can put your phone, your tablet right here. It will lay in front of the screen. So if you're you know, wanting to use iFit and be able to watch something on your phone, I'm not sure, but uh, it will block the screen a little bit, so just be aware of that. You'll probably be able to, in a smaller phone for sure, still be able to see your workout metrics. I know when I put my phone up, I can still be able to see the screen pretty much completely. One thing that we did notice with this device rack is that it's a little bit wider this way. So like when I put my phone, it kind of angles back a little bit. And when we're running like at higher speeds, we notice there's a little bit of movement like when we place our phones here. So it's not the most secure, but we haven't had any problems with uh, our devices like flying off. So this is a nice option to have if you don't want to subscribe to iFit or if you want to be able to, you know, look at something on your phone or tablet. So it's really nice to have that option here. So on the screen, this is iFit and iFit comes free for the first month. It offers thousands of workout classes. I think there's over 16,000. There's over like 180 instructors. So with this content, it is led by different instructors 
They take you through indoor classes that are filmed in a studio and outdoors, and their outdoor classes are literally filmed on every continent. So you can kind of like explore different areas around the world on your treadmill, which is really fun. This is the home screen. Go through, it'll show your workouts from the past week. You get little badges for when you reach a certain milestones. They also have recommended classes for you. And a lot of the classes are a part of different series, which are like workout programs. So you can take like a series that's in a specific place with a specific instructor and take that over the course of a few weeks. You can also take a specific training program that has like a specific focus to take to progress your fitness. So you have a lot of different options with iFit and iFit's offered on the treadmill. There's walking, jogging, hiking, running classes. There's also classes for other iFit enabled equipment like exercise bikes and rowers and ellipticals. On the treadmill, you can take those running classes, hiking and all of that. And then you can also take strength training classes to be able to take off the treadmill. The screen doesn't have too much adjustability, so it can be a little bit harder to see those classes, but you still have that option and you have all that option with an iFit subscription. So going through navigating iFit's really intuitive. They have, when you hit this little browse section, they have a search bar up top. So you can type in, like I can type in walk and I'll pull up walking classes. There's also filters here to be able to filter by like duration, your workout type, the intensity level, um, also the continent, because there's classes filmed all over. And iFit's really just a full rounded training program. They also have meditation classes and these are all led by instructors. If you want to maybe take a break and explore on your own from following an instructor, you can hit the create button down here. And this is the Google map feature. It's only available with iFit and it'll pull up like a default location. And when you go here, you'll get a map and I can just go and I can select a random spot and then one over here and I can draw and it'll fill in to draw a route. And then as you're going, Google images will pop up to show the location that you chose as you're going. So kind of fun to be able to take a little break from those trainer led classes and have a little bit more options. The one thing with iFit that we do wish was improved upon, maybe just added just to their indoor classes is the music. So the music is played through Feed FM. It's like a radio station. And when you're taking class, you can pick different genres of stations that have pre-selected playlists of music. So you can change the music throughout class, but the music isn't integrated in the class, like a typical, if you were to take like an in-person workout class where you know the music is timed, like especially with cycling classes, it's timed to specific moments in class. So that would be a nice update with this, but the music, I mean, it's all pretty, pretty popular music and they have a good amount of genres to choose from. So you still have a lot of options with that. Plus you can adjust like the trainer volume and the music volume and kind of choose what you want to listen to more or maybe none of it and maybe just mute it. But with iFit, you get a lot of options. Again, it comes free for the first month. We recommend at least checking it out for that first month. And we do highly recommend subscribing on the T14 with this 14 inch touchscreen. And also with iFit, when you subscribe, you're going to get all of the added features. So one of my favorite features is auto adjust where when you're taking a class, the treadmill will automatically adjust the speed and the incline to match like the grade when you're taking an outdoor class. So if you're going up a mountain, that deck will incline to match the terrain. And also if you're taking an indoor class, it will go and match the trainer's cues. So if you don't wanna run faster, I know I have those moments, but the trainer is telling you to, the deck will automatically do that for you. You can also bypass this at any time, but really auto adjust is kind of one of my favorite features with iFit and you get that when you subscribe to iFit on the T14. All right, let's dive in and check out how the T14 performs. But first, make sure you like this video if you're finding it helpful and subscribe to our channel so we can keep making content like this for you. And we like to make sure that you can see and hear how equipment performs before you take it home. So 
Let's dive in and check out that functionality. I'm going to start at, I'm just at a flat grade. I'm gonna start at three miles per hour. Let you hear the foot noise, the motor noise. Here is six miles per hour. And here's nine miles per hour. All right, now let's go up to that 12% incline. And that noise is just the leveling feet kind of sticking to our rubber mats. It happens on other treadmills. But overall, the Carbon T14 is fairly quiet, especially with that incline function. It's pretty comparable to other uh, mid-range treadmills. Here is Matthew. He is six foot five, walking at three miles per hour. Running at six miles per hour. and running at nine miles per hour. So things we really like about the Carbon T14, it has a 14 inch touchscreen that's enabled with iFit to offer plenty of training options. Plus when you're taking an iFit class, the treadmill will automatically adjust the speed and incline for you. The deck is soft, it has nice cushioning to be able to protect your joints. Plus, this treadmill is fairly compact and it folds up to save space. And really with the motor and the length of the deck, which is 55 inches, it's ideal for walking, jogging, hiking, and light running. Something to keep in mind is that we don't recommend it for heavy use and if you have a longer running stride, you might be limited to more jogging rather than running and sprinting on this length of deck. And the fans are pretty powerful and provide a nice airflow, but they're also fairly loud, so just something to consider with that. Overall though, this is a really nice compact option, fairly affordable, especially with all the features that are included. If you wanna learn more about the Carbon T14, head to treadmillreviewguru.com. There's a full written review there. And you can check the link in our description below for current pricing. And if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We create content like this for you so you can make informed buying decisions. I'm Sydney with Treadmill Review Guru. I'll see you next time.